Have you ever wondered about the true role of gladiators in ancient Rome? Were they merely warriors or were they entertainers? Let's delve into the origin of these legendary figures. Gladiators, an intriguing blend of slaves, prisoners of war and volunteers, were part of a bloody form of entertainment popular in the Roman Empire. Their primary role? To engage in combat, often to the death, for the entertainment of the masses. Their rigorous training at specialized schools known as ludi was a testament to their warrior status. Yet their lifestyle often lived in the limelight was reminiscent of modern-day celebrities. Society's perception of gladiators was a complex dichotomy, revered for their bravery yet shunned for their low social status. These warriors were the heart of a society that craved spectacle and drama. So it appears that gladiators were not just warriors, they were entertainers in a society that thrived on spectacle. Before we delve into the evolution of gladiators, let's take a closer look at the brutal reality of the gladiatorial games. The Roman Colosseum, a grand architectural marvel, was the stage for intense violent battles. Gladiators, armed with a variety of weapons, clashed in single combat or in groups, often resulting in severe injuries and fatalities. The gladiatorial games were a spectacle of bloodshed and violence, a far cry from the romanticized image we often have of these warriors. The clashing of swords, the cheers of the crowd, the blood-soaked sand of the arena, this was the harsh reality of the gladiatorial games. The crowd, unfazed by the gruesome scene, cheered on their favorite gladiators, reveling in the spectacle of their bravery and skill. The gladiators, for their part, accepted their fate. They were, after all, warriors, trained to fight and die with honor. They knew that each fight could be their last, yet they stepped into the arena time and time again, driven by the prospect of glory, freedom, or simply survival. The arena was a place of extreme violence and spectacle, a stark contrast to the romanticized image we often have of gladiators. It was a place where life and death were decided by the swing of a sword, the toss of a net, or the roar of a crowd. Now that we understand their role in society, let's delve into how gladiators evolved over time. The gladiatorial games of ancient Rome were not a static event, but rather a spectacle that evolved and changed over the centuries. During the early days of the Roman Republic, these games were mostly a religious event. Gladiators were often slaves or prisoners of war, and their combats were seen as offerings to the gods. As the Republic transitioned into the empire the games evolved too. They became grander, more extravagant and more varied. Different types of gladiators emerged, each with their own unique weapons and armor. There were the Mermio, who fought with a short sword and a large rectangular shield, and the Ritiarius, who used a net and trident, to name just two. These different types of gladiators provided variety to the spectators and added an extra layer of strategy to the fights. But it wasn't just the men who were taking part in these games. In the late 1st century AD, female gladiators known as gladiatrix started to appear. These women, often from the same backgrounds as their male counterparts, fought for the same reasons, for freedom, for glory, or simply for survival. And as the empire grew, so did the brutality of the games. Emperors used the games to display their power and wealth, leading to more violent and deadly spectacles. Fights to the death became more common, and the introduction of wild animals added a new level of danger and excitement. This evolution of the gladiatorial games mirrored the changes in Roman society. As the empire expanded and became more diverse, so did the games. They reflected the values, the tastes, and the attitudes of the Romans at the time. The gladiatorial games, much like the society that hosted them, evolved over time. They became more brutal, more varied, and even included women. The evolution of gladiators is a testament to the dynamic nature of ancient Rome, a society that was always in flux, always changing, and always looking for the next spectacle. Gladiators have not just been confined to the pages of history, they've made their way onto the silver screen, but how accurately does cinema portray these ancient warriors? Hollywood has a knack for dramatizing history, and the story of gladiators is no exception. From the epic battles in Ridley Scott's Gladiator to the rebellion led by Kirk Douglas in Spartacus, we've seen gladiators depicted as both brutal warriors and heroic figures. These films have given us a thrilling, albeit romanticized, view of gladiatorial combat, with the roar of the crowd and the clash of steel on steel echoing through our living rooms. In Gladiator, for instance, Russell Crowe's character Maximus, is portrayed as a noble warrior fighting not for entertainment, but for revenge and justice. The film offers a grandiose depiction of the Colosseum and the gladiatorial games, 
complete with intricate battle sequences and the political machinations of the Roman elite. Spartacus, on the other hand, presents a slightly different take. Here, the gladiators are not only warriors but also slaves, forced to fight for the amusement of their masters. The film is a tale of rebellion and freedom, with the gladiators rising against their oppressors. Despite the cinematic allure, it's important to remember that these films are more fiction than fact. Historically gladiators were often slaves or prisoners of war, their lives filled with hardship and uncertainty. The battles were brutal, and survival was far from guaranteed. Moreover, while films often portray gladiators as universally adored celebrities, in reality, they were seen as social outcasts, at the fringes of Roman society. The gladiatorial games were a spectacle no doubt, but they were also a manifestation of the Roman Empire's power and brutality. While cinema offers us a thrilling glimpse into the life of a gladiator, it's important to remember that the reality was probably far less glamorous. These stories of heroism and honor, of rebellion and freedom while captivating, are ultimately a Hollywood construct. Nonetheless, they continue to spark our fascination with these ancient warriors, keeping their memory alive in our popular culture. Let's take a moment to revisit what we've learned about gladiators. Our journey began in ancient Rome, where gladiators were more than just warriors, they were entertainers, commanding the attention of thousands in the grand amphitheaters. Gladiators came from diverse backgrounds, ranging from slaves and prisoners of war to free men seeking fame and fortune. They were trained in specialized schools, honing their skills for the spectacle of the arena. Their battles, though brutal, were often more strategic and regulated than one might initially think. Rules governed the fights, and referees ensured they were followed. Contrary to popular belief, not all gladiator fights ended in death. The decision of life or death rested largely on the crowd's reaction, the fight's quality, and the fallen gladiator's overall popularity. As we trace the evolution of gladiators, we saw how their role shifted over the centuries. With the fall of the Roman Empire, the era of gladiators fighting in arenas gradually faded, yet the image of the gladiator endured, morphing into a symbol of bravery, endurance and defiance against oppressive power. This enduring symbol found new life in modern cinema. We examined how the portrayal of gladiators in films often leans towards the sensational and the dramatic, sometimes at the expense of historical accuracy. From the silent epics of the early 20th century to the action-packed blockbusters of today, the gladiator has become a staple figure in cinematic storytelling. However, it's important to distinguish between the gladiators of Hollywood and those of history. While films often depict gladiators as heroic figures facing certain death in the arena, the reality was much more complex. The life of a gladiator was not always a death sentence, and many even found fame and glory in the arena. From the sands of the Colosseum to the cinematic screen gladiators have always captivated us but it's essential to separate the fact from fiction and understand their true role in history.